Hi, Mary. I wanted to help answer the question as best as I could. Um, so I just, they're, they're even doing a lot of new stuff with this like texture generator and editor business. Um, so it's probably going to keep changing, but the generator's new, but editor is like the older one. So here I just have a piece of fabric and I actually chose um, corduroy because I knew it kind of had like a print thing in it. So when I click on the fabric, if you look at their texture, it already has a texture from the corduroy. Um, I could probably do render quality. Maybe it'll see it a little nicer, um, but you get the idea. Okay, so um, I'll just turn that off in case it slows down my computer. Um, okay, so what the editor does, it's the one that's in the property editor. Of course, your fabric does have to be clicked. And this is like the more original one that they had. And I will warn you, it didn't work on everyone's computer. I think that this uses more brain power. So there was like some people that had just clear boxes showing, um, but it's a way to add a print. So I feel like they're trying to come after Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop and like try to, you know, eliminate the need for those softwares. So, um, but I have a PNG of a dot. It has a clear background. I'll go ahead and open it. And, um, and we can use this to, um, you know, I guess make a dot print, um, kind of see the repeats getting cut off. So I can say extend to the other side. I can maybe copy it. Now I have another one. Um, and you, essentially you're just like making a print and that's basically it. Apply and close. Texture generator, which is kind of newer. It's um, if you click on the fabric. Uh, I mean, also, by the way, look at the texture image, how it's different now because it has the print. Also be careful, I've noticed that this goes away after a while, maybe if you save the file, um, <clears throat> and maybe they've updated and it doesn't do this anymore, but if I were to hit texture editor again, um, in the past, it would just be flat and gone. Um, but I'm clicking it right now, and it does still have its layers, so I should probably try saving this and reopen it and see if it has it again. But this is, uh, yeah, I would just be careful that this might go away. Um, so anyways, it might just be flat. Um, okay, so let me go back to the generator real quick. Um, this is cool, it's kind of newer. Um, and basically, if you're trying to like mimic a fabric, for example, so this really isn't about a print, unless you already have a print that maybe someone painted or that's already done, but it's not like designing a print where the editor, you can design a print on top of your fabric. This is like making like realistic looking fabric, it's trying to. Um, <clears throat> there's some tricks, I have another video I can send you where you you can also make a matching a normal map to kind of give it more 3D and dimension, but it gets a little bit more complicated. But um, but anyways, this is just making a fabric. So I'm gonna try to make denim fabric. So say open, I found um, an image of denim on the internet. Where did I save it? I think I put it in my downloads folder. Nope, oh, it was on my desktop. Um, <clears throat> so I just have a screenshot of some denim, okay. And here it is. Then what you do, it's gonna try to generate this in repeat. Cause if I made a repeat tile right now, the shading would be kind of weird and it will look like squares that don't match up perfectly on the edges. But if I click and drag and try to get a nice big space, it's gonna try to be smart to change the edges. Um, there we go. I think do I have to hit enter? There it goes. Okay, I did it. And it's gonna try to make repeats. It's not perfect. Like that doesn't really look that good. Um, so maybe I'll do a smaller one. Hey, that actually doesn't look uh, kind of. Anyways, you can kind of play with it. Um, it. It's supposed to like generate realistic looking fabric. You can see you still kind of get the um, repeat of the shading, but that's what this is designed to do. It's supposed to be smart to kind of make fabric when you don't actually have fabric and you don't have a perfect repeat tile. It's supposed to help you do that. If you like it, you say apply close, but then you'll notice under the texture that corduroy fabric and polka dot is totally gone. It took over. Um, maybe if I open the texture editor, all that work I had totally gone. But I guess I could go back in and add artwork to this if I wanted. You know, same kind of thing, extend to the other side. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's helpful or not, but it's it's really designed for you guys to like add art to a print instead of having to like use Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop to make an all over print tile repeat. Um, that's what the editor is supposed to do. So, okay, hope that helps.